Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a little 3D training. Uh, so this is not only 306 degrees, but I'm also introducing elements of elevation, of high and low. So you guys will see what I mean, what I mean in a minute. Uh, watch the video and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Okay, so great training exercise. Not only is it 306 degrees, but you know, as you saw, I'm, I'm climbing the berms and I'm shooting off the top of the berms at the target. Um, so this kind of gets you to think about different things. It gets you to uh, think about different heights, and uh, uh, it also gets you to think about a little bit of planning in advance. So, for example, in order for me to climb up there, you know, I had to have ropes. Uh, positioned prior so I can you know I can use them to help me climb up there uh, because I know from having this done this exercise a couple times that I'm really not that good at climbing that high up so this exercise will um, teach you you know the things that you need to get better at or the the uh, the handicaps that you got to work around with okay uh, so this can kind of, kind of be helpful like in a self-defense type of situation where you're pre pre planning um, um, you know, we basically making a pre-plan around your property, figure out where you want to be. Uh, if you need to get ropes to certain areas in advance, that's what you do. You know, so you know, it just gets you think about um, fighting at different, you know, different height levels. Okay. Now, um, in order to do this exercise, what I'm using here is the uh, Palmetto PX9. This is a nine millimeter rifle. Uh, this is extremely useful. Uh, for these type of exercises because I'm shooting at steel targets uh, in some cases I am shooting them pretty close So I don't want to shoot five five six at them where I'm gonna get splash back or where I will basically destroy the targets Right these are expensive targets. I'm shooting at um, So the nine millimeter is pretty good because I can sh shoot a million rounds into these targets with the nine millimeter and, and, and the targets are you know They're, they're not gonna degrade over time. Um, so even rifle rated targets they tend to be consumable um, as you shoot them with 5.56, but with 9mm, 
you know, you can put a million rounds on them and, and they'll be fine. So I got the Palmetto PX9. I got here my uh, Glock 43 um, that came in pretty handy when I was uh, coming down that rope and I saw a target. I wanted to engage. It's kind of awkward to get to the rifle when I, uh, you know, basically I got one hand holding the rope. So I was able to go to my pistol, take a couple of shots um, at, the, uh, at the target over there. Now, um, I had, um, I had uh, put in a, a dummy round um, into the magazine, right? So what that did is in that awkward position, uh, because of the dummy round, I had a misfire and I had to, you know, basically t tap the, the, the slide and rack it uh, while holding on to the rope in order to take my shots. So, it, you know, it uh, made the exercise a little bit more interesting like that. Um, so, yes, yeah, so the reason why we're using, using my Glock 43 as opposed to Glock 17 is because, hey, I, I just wanted to get more practice with my Glock 43. Okay, so that's why I picked that. Now, the other thing that I've got here to help me out uh, in this exercise is I've got the Craft Holsters Belly Band Holster. Uh, basically, this is a good magazine carrier, right? It's, it's actually got a compartment here where you can carry a small gun, like a Ruger LCP. I did a prior review on this video. Um, but for these type of exercises, this is great as a magazine carrier. Uh, for the Glock, because this is this is rifle over here, uh, takes Glock mags, so these fit perfectly um, into this in, into this um, belly band holst uh, belly band holster, um, and I so I got my my my, uh, my Glock 17 mags in here, and I got my Glock 43 mags mags, uh, and it, it just really makes doing the exercise uh, really convenient. I've I've had a couple of my customers at different locations use this for different exercise that we do. So, so this uh, I did a review of this. If you if you guys want, look up just uh, search my channel name, and then uh, Craft Holsters Belly Band Holster, um, or, you know, and and you'll find the uh, you'll you'll see my review on this. So, um, you know, really really useful for these type of exercises. Because here's the thing: I had to walk into this area over here, and you know, I didn't want to come in here with an, with an ammo can full of ammo. So, I wanted to have as much of the ammo on my body. Uh, other thing that I'm using is the, uh, for this exercise, I'm using the electronic earmuffs that uh, I got these on from Walmart. They were, I think they were something like uh, uh, $50, not too expensive. Um, but the electronic ones are really good because I can, like right now I can hear nor you know, normal. In fact, that it slightly amplifies the sound so I can hear the, the leaves rustling a little bit in the wind so I can, I can hear really good. And then when I fire that shot, it basically, you know, it basically cuts off the loud sound and then it brings it back up. So... I have no, even normal hearing or slightly better than normal. You know, one of the great things about these electronic earmuffs is that they, uh, 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 after I think it's four hours, they automatically shut off, which is an important feature for electronic earmuffs because you always, you know, you're going to forget to turn them off and you don't want to just run down the battery. So when you get the electronic earmuffs, make sure that uh, it has an auto shut off after a certain period of time, usually four hours, but whatever it is. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon.